taken to the opening coin toss. And El Roberson went to the center of the field and said, all right, black shirts, let's bring it on. You've been yapping here for a year now. How are you going to get even in Lincoln? Well, I'm coming to your house, and I'm taking away a W back to Manhattan. There ain't nothing matter than coming to Lincoln and saying that, folks. Third down of the contest. Lord keeps it. Stop short. And Nebraska goes three and out with Buell, number seven, making his first stop of the game. Dodge defensive playbook. And now Roberson pulls back. Deep middle. Not complete oh. at the 21 yard line on the ricochet. And there is a young man from Homestead, Florida, James Terry. Folks, you talk about concentration. Wait until you see this ISO. Watch what happens when it's deflected. Pat Ricketts thinks he knocks it down. Number 28. Terry stays with it. The ball is badly underthrown. It hit. It hits him in the shoulders, and he comes back and grabs it. That was a bad throw by L. Roberson, but he got away with it. Nobody's going to remember it. That's just a completion now. Here's second down and 10. Now the option. Roberson pitch Sproles. Right side. There's an alley. Sproles by. In zone touchdown. What? So Darren Sproles takes it on in, and it was pure desire from the 10 yard line on in. He goes 22 yards, and the folks wearing purple are celebrating in Lincoln. Toughest thing about these small running backs, where is he? Where's Darren Sproles? You're the safety. Can you find this guy? Option pitch. Oh, there he is right now. Now you have to tackle this guy. He's not a big target. He's tough if you're going to arm tackle, and he drags the last guy, TJ Howell, into the end zone. First and 15. Mariah, one of the three wideouts. Roberson. Fires the middle, got the tight end all alone, running free. And Brian Casey. Play fake. Plenty of time. The offensive line lets him throw it to the end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by Josh Bullocks. His 10th interception of the season. 35. One of the identical twins just came up with interception number 10. Forward again back in the shot. Quarterback drawdown for Nebraska. Need a protect, but Lord's going to get thrown for a loss unless he unloads it. Oh, touchdown! Touchdown! Mark LaFleur! As Jamal Lord was taking a pounding, going Throws a touchdown pass. How about that? On this play, you're behind the defense now. For all the world, it looked like he was going to be sacked for a huge loss. And Thomas Houchin had him. He's a big guy there, but almost from his knees. Did he have his knees down? It looked like that hard to hit, but there was obvious pain there. On third down, Wilberson zips one too high for Terry. And it's field goal time coming up for Kansas State. A junior field goal specialist Joe Reen for the lead. Left it to the right. Left it outside. Yeah, because the clock stops if they get the first down. He'll pull back out. He'll look in zone. He'll fire high and incomplete. So it'll be field goal time. 30-yarder on its way. And blocked. Scooped up. Big tackle. What a huge tackle. Huge because tackle. He's going to start it moving. Down to six. Intercepted. Picked off by Lornell McPherson as the first half comes to an end. Need to reach the 34 for a first down. There's a blitz coming. Lord is hit. Ball's picked off by K-State. They've got it inside the 25-yard line. It was Andrew Shaw, the big defensive end. He had a jump ball situation. Yeah, Brian Hickman, I think the linebacker, got him from behind on that play. Three-step drop. You must throw the ball. There's Brian Hickman. Watch him come around the back of this play. Three-step drop. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. You're not protected. Lack of experience at quarterback, and that's the big turnover. 
that Kansas State needed their first of the game. They locked it. Roberson dashes in zone, touchdown. That was a broken, broken at the end. I mean, looked like he was going to pitch. He faked the end around with Marrera, speed merchant number 10, coming around behind him. And then he went off to the right, had a little daylight, and cut it back. Watch, watch the block down here. Jason Terry's going to come back and get the big block on the end. Oh, that, and once you get L ropes and one on one, he makes two Nebraska players overrun him. You must keep inside out. The first poor tackling play of the game for Nebraska. No difference now. <laughs> that Josh Buell, that's the other one. Sure, there's two linebackers down there from Mesquite. Here comes faith by Lord did wow. not fool wow. the Wildcats. And man, they hammered him that time, led by the Mesquite duo. Hickman and Buell bringing it on for Mesquite. Third and six, and K-State is eight of 12 on third downs here today. Roberson has time, fires, incomplete. No, oh, he had him too. Threw the ball perfectly, threw the ball low. Either his guy or nobody got it. So he's 0 for 1. And the red shirt's trying to get him to do it again. This is a 27-yarder now for Reem. He pulls it left, but he slipped it through that oh time. He almost overcompensated. That's like one of Gary Danielson's drives on a dog leg left. A <laughs> backup ball on that one. <laughs> it is hard to believe in all the things that Snyder has accomplished in the Big 12 and when he coached even before the formation of the conference that they've never won a game here in Lincoln. But they've got a chance here today with L. Roberson leading the way. He's passed for over 200 yards. Pump fake got him out going down the sideline. Got it. Touchdown, Kansas State. Terry. James Terry, the senior from Homestead, Florida, takes it 63 yards, and now K-State has a chokehold on the Cornhuskers. They've thrown three hitches out here during the game, coming down. Each time, the corners come closer and closer. Now it's a hitch and go. Perfect. Doesn't overthrow him, catches the ball. I thought Bullocks had a shot at him, but he pulled up on the play. And all of a sudden, two plays, a reverse and a hitch and go for a touchdown. Two tight ends. Lord. In trouble on the move. Slips free, sideline, heaves it downfield, intercepted at the 34-yard line. It is picked off by James McGill, and K-State will take over. <laughs> and uh, Snyder, we are told, just uh, reminded the linesman of that fact. <laughs> Third down. Roberson fires. Touchdown, Terry. They ran the post. And Terry broke free for a 37-yarder, his second of the game. And now Kansas State can taste its first win in Lincoln since 1968. I wonder if Lynn Dickey's gonna pop one open here. Absolutely, get out the champagne. Because Fabian Washington that time was beaten by Terry. And L. Roberson just threw it on a clothesline. 40 yards right to Terry. <laughs> Oh, go Same play. Williams has got it. I don't understand that. Williams picked it off at the six-yard line. So Cedric Williams with back-to-back -back <laughs> plays on the corner. One he knocks free, and the second one he picks off. Nor have I seen as many big red fans head for the exits early. This is this is really rare for me to experience this here in Lincoln. Third down and inches. There's the first down. Oh, 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 oh. Ball comes loose, Kansas State football. Yeah. Oh, that could be the bitter end of, uh, of a tough day here. Recovered by Josh Mule. I guess that inch meant something, huh? Wow. So Kansas State 
eliminating Nebraska here today. And Sproles breaks for the end zone. Oh, Nebraska with the angle, and they'll take him out of bounds at the six-yard line. Darren Sproles puts him over 100. And it marks the 10th straight game that Nebraska has given up 100 yards and lost. They were part of that Dallas Cowboy defense. Bill Parcells with a superb defense. Newman, of course, has added to it. Williams, and uh, this is a touchdown as they go to a power back. Saba takes it on in for the score with a minute and a half to go. 